Welcome to Broadstripes. In this video, we'll look at a few of the most important functions of the app, so you can start organizing with confidence. We'll also talk about where to go for help when you're ready to learn more about Broadstripes, or if you ever feel lost. Let's get started. When you log into Broadstripes, the first thing you see will be your homepage. The homepage has a set of tabs that lets you choose between an overview of your turf, quick links that may have been created for you to make it easier to navigate around the app, and other useful views. The home page remembers which tab you last looked at, and it shows it to you again the next time you log in. Think of this as your starting point in Broadstripes. It will be here each time you log in, and from here, you can always follow the same links to get to your most common tasks. But before we look at the turf panel in front of us, let's take a second to look at the other parts of the screen. Over here is a link to your account info, which project you're logged into, a link to Broadstripe's support knowledge base, and the link to log out when you're done for the day. Up top, there's a search box. It's almost always right there in Broadstripes, and you'll probably use it a lot. To find any person, organization, or shop, just place your cursor in the search box and begin typing their name. As soon as you've typed a few characters, Broadstripes will begin suggesting the names of specific people in the database who match your text. Click the contact you want, and Broadstripes will search for that name in all of its data and show you the results. On the left over here is the navigation panel. Right now, we're on the home page, but as you get more familiar with the app, you can use these links to jump to other tasks or launch a saved search. From the navigation panel, you can also click these links to create a new person or a new shop. Okay, now let's take a look at this area right here in the center of our homepage. We call this the turf panel. If your turf panel doesn't look quite like this or if it isn't set up at all, don't worry. It just means turf isn't assigned to you yet. You can always see turf assigned to other people by just clicking here and typing the name of a shop. If you do have turf assigned to you, you'll see all the shops in your turf laid out right here. You'll see the name of the shop and get a current status number of cards signed, assessments, and so on. If you want to see a list of the individual workers at a shop, just click here. All the workers will come up in this spreadsheet-like grid. This grid portion of the window is called the Search Results panel. Even though it might not have seemed like we ran a search, when we click to view the workers at Basic Hotel, behind the scenes, Broadstripe searched for all these workers and brought up the results here in this grid. This grid, the Search Results panel, is probably where you'll spend most of your time in Broadstripes. It's not just for viewing lists of workers. It's a great place to do data entry too. It's especially useful when you want to work with multiple worker records at once. Like a spreadsheet, the search results panel lets you change the data in the columns you're looking at. Broadstripes gives you control over the contents of the search results grid to make it easier to work with. You can sort the data here. You can also add or remove the columns you see. We won't get into that here, but if you want to learn how, there's a step-by-step -step tutorial in the Broadstripes knowledge base. Here we are back on the search results panel. As you can see, search results is the easiest place to make updates to the people in your list. You can quickly add or update an assessment, change one of your campaign's custom fields, or do all of your checkoffs. The search panel also has some more features you'll want to know about. If you hover your mouse over the name of any worker, a magnifying glass will appear. Click it and you can see their contact info and other important details. If you click on the person's address, phone, or email info, a dialog box pops up allowing you to edit it. Next, let's look at the icons down here at the bottom of the pop-up. Clicking any of these opens a section of the worker's record. You can add a timeline note, edit their contact info, see their employments, relationships, leadership info, add or view any attached files, or see a history of all the changes to their record over time. There's lots more to see and do with Broadstripes, but let's just look at two more important features. First, how to print or export a list from your search results. It's pretty easy once you learn how. From your search results, just select the records you want to print. You can choose specific workers by clicking these boxes at left, or select the whole list by clicking here. Then, under Reports, choose the format you want to print. 
a basic list PDF, a spreadsheet, or a specialized layout like house visit sheets. We'll choose the basic list. Broadstripes will generate a PDF and download it to our desktop. Then we just open and print. The great thing about the basic list and spreadsheet choices is that they contain the same data that your layout contains, making it really easy to get a PDF or spreadsheet of the exact info you need. The last thing I want to cover is the basics of Broadstripe's maps. There's a whole section on maps in the knowledge base, but let's take a quick look. From search results, we'll choose the workers we want to view on a map, then click Display on Map. Maps let you visualize where workers live and can help you prepare for house visits. You can also view workers by turf, by neighborhood, or by voting district. Just click the Broad Stripes logo to get back to your homepage. Remember, if you want more help doing anything we covered today, or if there's something you're curious about that we didn't touch on, Broad Stripes Support Center can be a big help. Click Help from any page or use our in-app support link. In the Support Center, you can search on a topic or just browse the user guide articles. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about using Broadstripes for your organizing campaign.